Hello everybody and welcome back to the hectic, chaotic, uh, finale, I guess, potentially, <laughs> of Arrival. In Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, yeah, that's the usual intro. But we are playing the Arrival DLC. And trying to stop the imminent Reaper invasion. Which it is kind of weird that this, this, this DLC is so plot-centric, but then... Like they don't, I don't know. What is it? And Ma how? What did they say to me at the beginning of Mass Effect Three when I first? I can't remember. But when I first played, I hadn't played the. Um, That's interesting. Oh, nice, thank you. Uh, I hadn't played the Arrival DLC, and so I, I'm pretty sure they were like telling me like, "Oh yeah, here's this terrible thing you did," and I was like, "Excuse me, <laughs> like, excuse me." I have no idea what you're talking about. So they make it very plot-centric, and it's why Shepard gets, um, you know, oh, there it is. Uh, she gets locked up, essentially, when you when you start Mass Effect 3, which, honestly, I'm kind of panicking about, <laughs> sort of internally, <laughs> to uh, start that. Because uh, uh, that, it's, it's a little brutal, honestly. I love it. It might it might be my favorite of the three, but um, I, it's also brutal in a lot of ways. Like more than more than way more than Mass Effect Two. Imagine the intro to Mass Effect Two with times like hundred. Also, they should have just. They never learn about. They keep me. The, the Reapers try to keep me alive because they want to like inhabit my body or something. Because somehow they think it'll be different to inhabit a really cool body like mine and not your average random Joe. Hang on a second. Can I just throw you guys off? Yes, I can. I remember that. I remember that now. Oh, that one didn't go. You might go. Yep, there you go! <laughs> oh yeah, just line up. Oh! I mean, did you guys think you guys were getting out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure they were- I thought they were all, like, willing to die, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, no. I think only one of them got taken up into space. Yeah, there's somebody back there still. So. Ah! Bad spot, bad spot, bad spot, bad spot. Oh, I didn't think you can still see me around the corner. No. What an odd death screen to have it flip over like that. Oh, please, don't make me do that all again. Here's the strat. These are, these are enemy seeking missiles. So I don't need to be in line of sight of it. I hope there's not more. Please, please, please. I'm keeping an eye out for any boxes. Proximity, that's right, there's kind of a countdown too. What am I looking at? Where is the, oh. Get me out! External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? No, oh, hi!
Shepard. You have become an annoyance. I have been this whole time. You fight against inevitability. Dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you. A star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations Why? are doomed to Why fall. are you blinking? Your leaders will beg to serve Why are you... Oh, God, I could have... Uh, whatever it is. Uh, not stroke. Um... What is the... Oh, my gosh, my brain is blanking. The, the, the light strobe effect makes your brain hurty thing. Anyway, words. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe we can't win this. But we'll fight you regardless. Just like we did Sovereign. Just like I'm doing now. However insignificant we might be, we will fight. We will sacrifice and we will find a way. That's what humans and do. And everybody else. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. For the arrival. Name drop. It's good to see you too, bud. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Oh no, yeah, this is fine. Can you guys, like, send a shuttle in for me? Probably a shuttle couldn't go fast enough to catch up, honestly. We're on an asteroid going way too fast. Get us out of here, Joker! He's like, I'm already on it, boss. I'm doing my best. I love seeing the new cutscenes. I also really love that we are taking this relay right before it gets munched. Which we need to, right? The whole system's gonna go like supernova. So we couldn't just like speed away. Yeah. Look at that. That's never happened. Oh, not, not in our current galactic 50,000 year cycle, anyway. All those planets go dark. It's honestly just a precursor for what's coming. But that's rough. Like, you have to do it. You have to make those decisions. And all it does is give us a few months. And what do we do with it? Nothing. <laughs> Looks like you've recovered. I'd what are you happen. doing here? Sounds like you went through hell down there. How, do you How did you even get on my ship? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is Well, you sent out the big guns. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I'm not under your command anymore, by the way. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming. And destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system, all dead. Yeah, and so now he's, try he's trying to dance around the... I don't know, giving me up is this like a sacrifice? I don't know, but he's trying to dance around what they're gonna do with me. 
They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will this see This is a really way. good, like, uh, precursor to war, honestly. Like, they could so what do you definitely... Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. Yeah, like, they could, the Batarians right now could just go to war because, like, a, a human... Uh, somewhat associated with the Alliance just blew up their whole system. Also, the fact that I've, like, proved that you can blow up Mass Effect relays, which, honestly, throwing asteroids into things is, like I said before, is a pretty standard tactic, it feels like, in space warfare, at least in the Mass Effect version. Um, also, though, it did kind of feel like, uh, oh, what was it? Like, uh... Oh shoot, I had like a Star Wars example. Oh, when you, um, in one of the sequel trilogy movies, when they, in the second one, Je the, I don't remember what it is, something returns, um, when the, the, the commander woman, the purple haired one, sends a ship going into hyperspace at a death cruiser, or whatever, not death cruiser, uh, you know, the big ones, the big Empire ships, <laughs> um, and, uh, why is right there on the tip, oh, there's so many words on the tip of my tongue today, and I'm just not, I'm not with it, but, anyway, she does that whole thing, breaks it apart, and people were all like, Bruh! like, you know, the Star Wars neckbeards were all like, you can't do that because there's, like, safety things in place, and, like, if you could do, this was a fair point, I thought, um, and not that I had got involved much, so maybe there's a good counter-argument to it, I don't know. But the point they made was that if that was possible to override those safeties to allow a small ship to go into warp speed next to, or at, at another object, the everybody would have been doing that like for a lot like you could send one kamikaze ship in and like destroy an entire cruiser with like one small supply ship you know like you wouldn't have to sacrifice like you know l the lives and materials for you know full scale space battles you know so everybody would be doing that um so yeah, and that did make sense, right? Like, it's like, well, yeah. At least to me. But again, there might be counter-arguments that are super good. Anyway, this feels kind of like that. You throw an asteroid at a Mass Effect relay, something that supposedly can't happen. Like, you can send a ship straight at another object into warp speed, even though you shouldn't be able to do that. But like, like according to the in-world in rules, but then you do it anyway, and it works, you know, type thing. It's like that. It's like that, where you... It's like maybe now now you now we could just go why don't we just go break all of them, you know? But again, you can't do that, like in the time that we have and nobody would let that happen because they're like, But how are we supposed to stay connected otherwise? You know, you isolate systems and Anyway. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Right? It's true. I think if you'd done this earlier, before the end of the technical end of the game, he wouldn't say that. But because I have done it and I've broken ties with Cerberus, um, he's like, "This I don't know if this is a Terry or whatever. Sorry, Cerberus ship." And it's like, "Ha ha." Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper Not by a long shot! That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. I'm a paragon. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, 
You make sure you're there with your dress blues on. Ready to take the hit. But I'm not under Alliance command! Me, <laughs> you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. I need a chain of evidence! You've a hell of a thing, Commander. I don't get to wear my dress blue. He called me Commander, though. There's that. Are you reinstating me so that I have to follow the rules of the Alliance and turn myself in? I don't know if there is a way for Kenson to survive, honestly. Maybe I could have if I hadn't shot her. That maybe that might have been it. Maybe I could have kept her alive. I don't think so, though. No new messages. Let's run around since the episode's kind of short and uh, just do a quick check in with everybody. It's so eerie to have this ship so empty for so long. Commander. Oh. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Nothing new. Doesn't surprise me. We'll make the rounds. Make the rounds. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud, and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come in. We live, we'll get loud. <laughs> I love that, love that for us. We are still alive, but he's acting like we haven't gone through the relay. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything what? else? I'll let what? you work. We'll be here if you need. <laughs> I don't wanna know. I didn't wanna know. Oh, my fish are probably dead again. Well, there they are. I cannot keep these fish alive <laughs> for anything. I really shouldn't I shouldn't have gotten Legion so early. Oh shoot, there it is! There's the there's the replica. <gasps> Intercarbon by Theta! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I forgot that's where Okay, hang on, here we go. Here's the here's the I think this is what I was thinking about. <laughs> Look at the way he's sitting! Oh my gosh! <laughs> he's so seductive. Yep, so awkward. Super awkward. Just not even I don't understand I don't understand and you can lay on the bed see the sitting on the, the the couch is really awkward this is cute though like it's awkward but like it's cute like it's a cute idea but it's still really awkward so let's just anyway now that that's done we've done that and he's just chilling in my room I love that I love that for me honestly like <laughs> imagine just walking in and seeing this guy sitting on your couch and you're just like oh baby <laughs> oh my gosh anyway oh, I'm gonna go talk to my friends and the music was totally not right for the mood uh, I almost went to Thane's room let's check I just want to make sure everybody's good I wanted to tell you. I believe oh. you did the right thing by destroying that. Nobody base. else said that. The elusive man oh. thinks he has the wisdom I see. to utilize it, but he does not. She met the the yes. Okay. How are you? How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Oh, it feels weird. I'm honestly like I'm, I'm like ready to move on to Mass Effect Three, but I'm also like no, like I do like to leave some missions. Like I said, I've said it before, but I really do like to leave some missions so that I can just kind of run around with my friends and, like, pretend that we have all the time in the world when we don't. Hey, Shepard. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. 
so quiet around here. I miss the crew. Cosplaying as Kazumi would be Come fun. Later. I'm sure I'll She's got a really cool outfit. I like it a lot. Miranda, I know we're good on Miranda. Hi, Miranda. But, like, yeah, I, I'm kind of just walking through, and it's kind of weird to think this is probably the last time I'll see everybody in Mass Effect 2. We have some really intense talks with Garrus down here, like, even just being, like, friends. Like, we have to talk about, like, the sacrifices that we're willing to make and stuff. Huh, <sighs> I'm not ready. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Optimizing weapons charges, planning attack vectors, you know. Relax. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way to Oh, we're stuff. still on the... Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. We're still on the weird in-between of... We completed the main mission, but the game does The characters don't quite recognize it. Some of them do. Samara did. But uh, apparently she's one of the only ones with dialogue, with like post dialogue of that. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the gap. Specify. Mm, no, we've done all that. I have to get back to work. I believe we've done all that. If I haven't, I apologize, but. Ooh, wow, I forgot I could do that. I was trying to sprint by pressing in the left stick. Just saying. Oh wait, I get. Okay, I'm avoiding it because now I feel awkward. Because that was it. Really, especially the couch thing is so awkward. Like, oh my gosh, like just sitting there and you're both kind of moving, kind of like snakes, like like bobbing your head, like upright, and it's just so weird. It's so weird. It's so awkward. The bed thing is like cuter, but it's still awkward. Like, oh. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like sitting here with my head in my hands, just like, uh, like the the idea, the intention is cute, but the 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 what's the word? Um, the I can't think of words today. God dang. Um, the not the implication, the the actual. Uh, what is the word? The actual. It's right there. <laughs> I'm so upset. Um, the actual manifestation of it, not, that's not the right word, but that's the closest I've got. The actual manifestation of the idea is uh, was handled poorly. <laughs> Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours. This I much more Are prefer. No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you, you are <gasps> And I'm always afraid I'm going to click on that. No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. I am, it still is a criminal crime <laughs> in my mind that we couldn't go with. <laughs> we owe ourselves a memorable vacation. We should pick a destination. There must be some travel brochures in the ship's computer. I would very much like to see a desert. Yep, uh, I, I'm upset. I, I still try to headcanon that I was able to go see a desert with him during this like interim time between 2 and 3. Um, but I think either the way it's implicated in Mass Effect 3 or just the way I interpreted it was that he was able to go see a desert, I think on Earth with his son. Um, but I would, by the time we get to Earth, like, like Hackett just said, I'm in lockdown, essentially. I can't go anywhere, and Thane can't come see me, and it's just a tragedy! Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgia. <laughs> Were you? You smoke, Shepard. Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid once, weapons dealer, probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Tossed a butt, blew himself sky high. Yeah, well, that's pretty, uh, not what you expect, I guess. <laughs> You're smoking, it'll kill you. And he's like, no, it'll just blow up the explosives that are nearby. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. 
I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I mean, do you have second thoughts on that sort of thing? I should let you go. Talk more later. I'm looking forward to seeing Zaid in the next game. I can't remember if he gets to be a companion of yours or not. Spoiler, Jacob's not. I, Miranda's not. Samara's not. But you interact with them, like, obvious, not obviously, maybe. But yeah, there's some people that aren't your companions anymore, but you do still get to go interact with them and have, like, like there's a Samara mission that's really intense, and there's Miranda one's pretty intense, too, honestly. The Jacob one's subpar, unfortunately. Uh, poor Jacob, or uh, Rip. Um, Tally is your companion, Garrus. Um, there's a couple more new people. Anyway. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Whew. Jack's down in the basement, and last time we talked, she yelled at me for getting too touchy-feely, but I went, like, touchy-feely emotionally-wise. Hey. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing yeah. around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I don't know. I the go. whole thing Whatever. with Jack, the way it ends, if you're, if you're not romantic, you're not a male Shepard and you're not romancing her, it's just weird. It's like, like, what? Like, we went through all of this, we were, we were doing pretty well, and then all of a sudden she thinks you're, it feels like she thinks you're hitting on her and just, like, blocks you off, and it's like, okay, like, all right, bye. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus, ha! <laughs> Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Just checking in. How My boy. Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Ah, That's I'm looking now. forward. We will see Grunt again in Mass Effect 3. And we'll see Rex, too. But... I believe that is everybody. We'll also be able to access that whole room down there. We'll have a friend right there, and we'll have a friend over there. Right where my head is. Like, right there. One right there. People be chilling in the basement, in the cargo home. Anyway. I believe that was everybody. So. This is so weird. Uh, I put, I, I checked earlier, I put about 60 hours into the game. Yep, right there. Put 60 hours into this game, including all the DLCs. And it's, we, it feels weird. We, we've definitely just set up the events of Mass Effect 3 really well with the rival DLC. Um, I, theoretically, I would still, like in real life, I would still run around and do some more of the, the N7 missions and stuff that I still have in my backlog, but seeing as how I don't really have the time to do that, I'm not going to, but just pretend I did, and that I get to spend time with my friends and with Thane a little bit before I have to go back to Earth and answer for what I've done, and then everything goes to crap. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you've made it this far in the playlist, I really appreciate it like truly legitimately I know I don't know there's a lot of videos out there and I just appreciate those of you who still enjoy coming by and watching my vids despite me having played these games and uploaded them many times so thank you again thank you for being with me on this legendary journey through the legendary edition which has been super great I'm I'm really pleased that they made it. Uh, I wish, still wish we could get Dragon Age Remasters, but <laughs> no, this has been really excellent, and always, I can't say no to an excuse to replay such a good, such, such a good series, and with such high quality graphics now, it's been really, really fun. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this series as much, as much as I have, um, and 
I don't know how to say it. That's the end, I guess. That's the end of Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3 looms imminently on the horizon. So thank you all again for watching. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. And I appreciate all your comments, even when I am slow or negligent in responding. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> so thank you guys a lot. This lifestyle is, is fairly difficult with the vagabonding, running around, living in the wilderness, and just trying to take a few days here and there to record when I can. Um, so I appreciate you all putting up with that a lot. So. Thank you again. And I guess, Christopher, I hope you enjoyed this series <laughs> since this was your first time for Mass Effect as far as I know. So I hope you enjoyed the whole series. And um, everybody else, thank you for watching again. And I will see you in Mass Effect 3.